What's up guys, we're back with another video. This one is about the real estate process in Korea. It's very unique. If you live in Korea, then you probably already know about the rate of the scams that are happening here. A little while ago, we uploaded one video on our apartment hunting process as well as our apartment tour. And with 50 million won on the line, we took every precaution to ensure that we were not going to get over. This video is geared towards Chansei just because it's such a massive sum, but it's not just for those who are looking at Chansei. I understand that many foreigners might come to this channel looking for some advice when they're apartment hunting, and I don't want to be presumptuous, but usually if you're a foreigner, you're not going to drop like 200,000 US dollars on a place for Chansei. So if you are looking at Worse properties, then this is useful for you as well. Also, Sungwoon is a programmer for a Budongsan company. Budongsan just means like real estate. So he especially will be able to provide some knowledge and terms that will be useful. And I'm just gonna quickly explain when you see certain numbers, what they mean. So I'm on Chikbang and you can click on your options over here. Let's start with Horse. There will be two numbers. This top one, is the big deposit you're willing to put down for a property. So let's say you're willing to put down about 40,000 US dollars. That's 50 million won. And then for your monthly rent, let's say you're willing to do about 800 US dollars, which is about 1 million won a month. That's how this works. So you can put in your options, scroll around on the map to see what you like, over here, you're going to see like 3,000-70. So this 3,000 means 30 million deposit, which is about 20-something thousand US dollars. And 70 means 700,000 won, which is about 600? 550 US dollars. And then if you come over here, you can switch to Chansei. And remember, Chansei is just a really big deposit. So... What you want to do is just select what you're willing to go up to. I'm willing to go up to Iluk. There's only one property in this whole vicinity. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look. It is about 100 million won straight up, which is the equivalent of, I guess, 70,000 USD. And then hopefully you'll get that back when you move out. After you find the place you want to move into, the first thing you have to do is to ask your real estate agent uh, for Dungibu Dungbon. Dungibu Dungbon? Yes. So Dungibu Dungbon is basically a resume of the building, mm -hmm. the property. It consists of three parts, Pyojebu, Gapgu, and Ulgu. Pyojebu is is like the information of the building. Kapgu is the ownership of the building. You want to especially pay attention to Ulgu. It shows you the relationship between the landlord and the banks that they took the loans from. Does it show um, like the name of the bank and the amount? Yeah. Okay. Another thing too you want to know in the Dungi Budung Bon mm -hmm. is um, how much the property is actually worth on paper and compare that to how much the landlord is trying to get from you. So don't quote us on this, but the rule of thumb we were going by when we were looking at Chansei property was if they were trying to sell us the property or rent us the property for 80% of the value or more, that's a really big red flag. What we have heard is it should be around 70% or lower, yeah, but usually 70 it's 70. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so 80, 80 and over is the danger yeah, zone. Yeah. If the landlord goes bankrupt and the house is auctioned out, the bank has a higher position to get their money back before you get your deposit. You can prevent this with two things. The first thing is Jeonip Shingo, which means you're registering yourself in the system with the new address. And the second thing is called the Hwakjang Ilja, which means the date you've moved in is confirmed. So in order to do this, you need to go to your local community center, which is the Jumin Center in your new neighborhood, and you need to bring your ARC as well as the contract for them to register you in that address, and they'll stamp it on your ARC. You don't need to go to immigration office. Then you will have this right called the Tehangyeok, 
it literally means a right to fight against. So even if things go bad, you still get your money back because you have the hangyeok. At the very least, you're eligible to apply for the insurance. So this is actually something that you need to do anytime you move. You have to register yourself or you get fined. So whether you are you applied for Chunsei or Warsei property, you need to go to your Jumin Center and do this. There's one thing you need to know about Hwakjong Ilja. It's only valid from the day after you file it. So if the landlord takes more bank loans the same day you're moving in, then the bank will have the primary right to get the money back. Okay, so let's say I filed it Today is February 22nd. Let's say today I filed my Hwakjong Ilja. Yeah. That means from tomorrow the 23rd, it is like valid. Yeah, that's right. So let's say I filed it today, like so I'm at the Jumin Center doing that, right? Yeah. And then the landlord goes to the bank and takes out more loans, then mm -hmm. I'm screwed. Uh, Pretty much. Cool. Yes. Good to know. Additionally, if the landlord sells a property to someone else, who also is planning to take a loan, then the bank is in a higher position to get their money back first. You see this situation a lot with newer buildings like ours. A company might own the whole building and then independent landlords come and slowly purchase units as tenants are moving in and putting down their deposits. And the landlords are relying on those deposits to purchase the units, which in the end could be really bad news for the tenants. It's a lot of Real estate agents, they put a term in the contract that says the landlord must not sell the property on the same day when the tenant is moving in or take more loans, but it's not an official law. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope that if you are apartment hunting, you can find this useful. Remember to check all of these terms, which I'll put here in the rough English translations. Take a screenshot, take your Korean friend, take your... Korean husband or wife, or learn Korean, learn or... Korean, whatever you need to do. I know it's not everyone's situation to put through like put this huge lump sum down. It certainly wasn't ours, so we looked into the newlywed loan. That specific loan is very strict. So when we were bringing property information to the bank, they were turning down everything because of whatever sketchy reason was showing up on the property. Every single house we found was mm -hmm. sketchy. Right, yeah. which says a lot. I mentioned when we were doing the tour, we couldn't do Chensei. That's why. We just couldn't get the loan. In the end, Warsei was best for us, and we were able to protect our 50 million won deposit. We're not experts. Just <laughs> take it with a grain of salt. These are the terms. These are exactly what they mean and what we understood it as. Thank you for watching, and I hope it helps. Bye.